Veil Azul. <laughs> hey everybody, hello and welcome back to Massively Overpowered Television, where we are bringing you some D&D uh, &D Night Adventuring. That's right, today is our Thursday D&D &D Night and we are currently in Dungeons & Dragons Online. And in Dungeons & Dragons Online, we are in Ravenloft. Having a lot of fun doing some adventures here. We are currently in an adventure arc. There we go. I'm actually finally loading in. I'm like, uh, what's happening? Darsh. Darsh? Unfortunately, it's a color a little bit off on mine. But, uh... I am so glad you're able to drop by. And yes, Ravenloft, I do think it is some of my most favorite content here. So, Sophie, you liked my poem. Did you sing it? Did you sing it? <laughs> and we all know why she had to try so Strahd can die. <laughs> yeah, once I started that whole go here, go there, to go here, to go over there, to go do that, my mind immediately went into the She Swallowed a Fly song. <laughs> and that is precisely where my brain went, and it stayed there. So, really cool. Our next two adventures... Oh, you can't remember the tune? Well, let me help with that. There was an MJ who found the vineyard. Oh my word! Druid's in the vineyard. She killed every druid. Yeah. <laughs> now I can't do it. She killed evil druids to get the wine. Surely this magical wine is fine. She took the wine to give to the abbey because only the wine would make them happy. She went to the abbey to get a weapon, and we all know why she gave that a try. So Strahd will die. Yeah, fun children's song. <laughs> oh, Darsh, it did change for me. Thank you. Yeah, before the uh, the the red was just for me, on mine. I know it's different for everybody. It was red and kind of bleeding over, and on the black for some reason it just wasn't working well. But did any of you sing that song when you were little? Hear that song? I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. Oh, the spider was that wiggled and jiggled and jiggled inside her. Anyway, so yeah, all right. <laughs> um. Fox of Fox of Mass Scroll Cunning. Wow, MJ has brain. Not that she's using it, but she does have one. We think. That actually could be a questionable. Oh no! And I just realized I never did the winter thing at all this year. And I think it's over. Oops. Yep, it's the same tune. The worms crawl in, the worms crawl out, the worms play pinochle on your snap. That's actually exactly how it goes. So, um, yeah. <laughs> oh. Spell sight 13, don't you? What's this? Disease removal. I just realized, because I decided 
being the lazy bum that I am. I am a lazy bum. I... Wait, what is insightful magic sheltering? Magical resistance. I never... I never did actually come in and clean out my uh, mess here. So, my bad. Scroll of Deep Slumber, I really kind of want to use that one though. And what's this one? Oh, Invisibility, I'll just use that one. Yeah, I meant to do this earlier, but <laughs> ran into a nighttime routine fiasco today. Actually, ran into a there's no bedding for the munchkin fiasco, which adds a very crazy... Oh, I finally joined the party chat room. Nice that that decided to do something. What's this cloak? And the belt jump 13. I guess I don't need that. Alright, I'm all good. I'm good. Um, now, in case... Sophie, you were sharing anything in the chat room... Then, uh, I now have party chat room. Snow Peaks Festival didn't have anything new this year. Except the rewards. Mm. Dar says, one day I will finish leveling my Blade Forged Paladin. So I can reincarnate him and fix the mistakes I made in feats. Leveling up before they did all the reworks that hit the last five years. Ah. Wait, now join the other party pat chat room? Oh! Wow. Yep, thank you! I I did mention... Mm hmm Yeah. So, hi! Now, thank you. <laughs> ah. Yep, I think I've already spoken to Rudolph. We've already finished. I do not want to repeat the Vampire Hunter's quest arc. Nope. I'm ready to go to Van Rechten Tower. Is that via... Yep. Alright. Y'all don't want to hear me. I mean, I'm pretty sure... Oh. Make sure you all shrine back here. Oh, back here, huh? Well then... Touch the shrine! <laughs> and then we talk to our good friend Esmeralda. Oh, yep. There you are again! has kept you so busy, my friend. Ah, the sun sword. You know what? Sword would have been an easier thing to try to rhyme. I just left it off. Like, weapon? Beckon? Um. I mean, I could start making up words. Fleppin? <laughs> yeah, weapon is not a word to use in a poem. Excuse me. Anathema. They won't open the door 
stores till you have wine? Go get some wine! Wait, what? Why is she saying to... Okay. Why does she have a check mark on her? It's just the way it works. Okay. I'm... It's like, quest completed! I'm like, are you sure? Yeah, no, our actual thing is to go talk to Dabby and... Dobby? You gonna go talk to Dobby? Ooh, can we break this? Oh. This is the, the mailbox. mailbox. The mailbox, I forgot. Sorry. It's like a scene in a certain movie. But it was all glowy and mysterious. Yeah. So go to the Wizard of Vines. Uh, wines. The Wizard of Vines. The Wizard of Vines. Yeah. Oh, and just say so you no, know, I don't know how much of a problem it is, but we are much louder than you on stream. What? Really? Yeah, I mean, it might be fine. Yeah, ask people in chat if it's okay, but I just noticed it from my little tablet. Let me... Discord might have been bumped up in sounds. Oh, look, Discord's at 100 instead of 60. Okay, that should help. Don't know why, but you know. Just because the world likes to do things. Darsha saying, one day I will get to do the raid. The raid. Which raid is the raid? Is it a specific certain raid you want to do? Oh. Oh. Look at me, just... Oh, I can't talk to him. One person's talking to him already. Okay. Where are we? What's he saying? Oh, only one person can talk at a time. We're, we're outside. I mean, you've got to talk to him. I'm trying. I've, I've got the mouse over you... him. I and... think you need to go back and talk to her twice. I did, she though. Has... Because I talked to her once, and she updated. I talked to her again and said, okay, I'll go to the Abbey or something like that. And she updated more. What does... Well, what no, does now, now that I ran away and came back, now he'll speak. Okay. Or maybe he's only one person. I mean, I did open up her stuff twice, but nothing updated after the first one. Now, can you talk to him from over there? Yes. Was I just a step too far away? Maybe. Okay. Yeah, well, not far, too far away. It says out of range, so... Oh, oh I didn't get out of range. I just swing my sword at him. I get my... I don't even have a sword in my hand. Oh my gosh. No champagne, this stomp. Do stomp. He's saying we won't get to do the raid because it's level 30 or something. It's like, I, I think even if it was at our level, not sure we would be doing a raid. Huh. How many do you need for a raid? I suppose we could go in and die. But yeah, hey everybody, look at the beginning of the raid. We can show off the beginning of the raid. Oh, it was taken by Baba Lasagna. There we go. 
That's an awfully pretty vineyard. Ooh, jump up, maybe it's a better picture. Oh, it is! Ha uh, What? Oh, what are you? Hello. Let's go in before you attract more friends. All right, go in. Go, go, go. No, just go. You go first. I'm not leaving you to die out here. <laughs> Level 30. Yeah, you can have a group of five level, you know, 16s go check it out. Sure, it'll be fine. I mean, somebody was saying it might not even let us enter. It's oh. so much different. Wow. But I was saying, even if it was at our level, all we could probably do is go in and die unless we got it. Oh, hey, I think we found the person. Sophie's buff have reached the realm of 80s commercial jingles in my brain. They just appear. Song's done. Ah, oh, my chat is scrolled up. I see. Dungeon Master, the Mardikovs and the Wizard of Wines have been mainstays of Barovia. Barovia! For generations. Yet the winery may have produced its last vintage. The last vintage, comma, evil druids. No. <laughs> That'd be quite a vintage to drink. The evil druids from Yesterhill. Yester Hill, all my druids seem so far away, and we'll kill them for another day. Said in the voice of a Warcraft 2 goblin. <laughs> all right, we got this. We got this. Do, 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 do. Is it a goblin or orc? Are you? Are you uh, talking about the song is done or the orcs? I believe. Yeah, because that, that's what I was going through in my head, too, is jump them. <laughs> but isn't it the goblins who, do, who are doing the mining? It's the orc faction, but the goblins are doing the mining. Maybe. It's been, it's been so long. And yet I still have that little clip You immediately in my head. spot a lone figure crouched near the entrance to the loading dock. This must be Stefania Martikoff, Davian's daughter. going anywhere stop my feet tantrum tantrum you're like cowering girl Coughing fit number one. Ooh. Oh, yes. Let's purify the wine and taste test it. Find some mold. All wine is better with some brown mold. So we have to go to the basement and get mold to put mold in the wine. Okay, Abby. I 
I'm not sure if that was Coughing Fit 2 or a continuation of the first one. Okay, so mold and then a purification charm. Please, find the ingredients for the antidote and purify the wine, Stefania begs. Our wine is the last drop of hope some people have. Ooh, purify. All right. Lead forth anyone who leads in the front, which is not me. I lead from the back. I know, all these boxes make me want to jump up and... Yeah, one closed door, one open door. And a ladder. Well, we let's go to the basement. For, oh, okay. Is that going up to the I second floor? There's anything interesting up here. Anything interesting? Oop, another door. Uh... And, and an attack music. Where, where be the friends? So I guess we can get the seal first. If you want to go to the basement, that's fine. I just want to see it because there's an optional to read all the notes. So I was basically making sure there were no notes up here. Well, we're all up here now, so yeah, we can do it. Okay. I don't think there's this. I, I mean, she said we have to find one and then the other. There's the family quarters. That must be where the seal of purification is. Oh, what's that over there in the little blue it's bubble? A druid poisoner, someone who poisons druid, or a druid who specializes in poison. <laughs> one a of them would be helpful. On top of one of the huge vats, protected by mystic wards, she is completely absorbed by her task, poisoning the wine inside the vat. So she's crouched over it, poisoning it. Pushing the right button helps. So I guess we can't get to her for a while. Something down the rest of the twig blades. Find anything interesting in the little back corner? A door. So doors down here. Instances upstairs. Wait, someone did someone open the door? I didn't open it. The droid might have opened it. Fire. Burn them all. Wait, oh, we're not going in there. Probably hurt us. Sure. There's a chest there. 
all that was in here? You spy a tangled heap of vines and roots. With a shudder, the strange mass begins to move toward you. Tear furs the heap. down go boom physical resistance magic wait magecraft plate of magical resistance with spell failure plus six to. damping outfit of move silently work on if you're asking me, no, I don't do the outfits. I use uh, regular armor. Oh, yeah, outfits is That's monk, like right? Sneaky monks, maybe. Well, let's move silently. It sounded roguey, so. There's a door under the ramp as well. There's a chest up top. I don't know if we can open it until we freed her or whatever. Yeah, it was. It was yeah, right there's two doors. There's the one back in that corner and one here. So go for, oh, I was going to say, we'll go for the one that our healer is by, but our healer ran away. <laughs> uh, the bit of twigs or branches looked like it might be a door as well. But... Oh, yeah, I was looking down there. Lightning and trees. Can I make thunder logs? Sell them in uh, Arcage? Make cars out of thunder logs. What? None of it's mashable? What the heck? Oh, here's the stairs down. You want to do that first or check the other doors? This, this adventure can be quite tough solo because of how much DPS the twig blights put out. Oh, um, let's go ahead and open the other door. Yeah, let's get this level. Let's call one level done before we go down another one. This might just go back to where we were. It might. Yeah, that one goes back yep. to the start. Were there any others in here or was that the only other door? There was this well, door. We never actually went through this one. We never went one. through this one. Okay, so there's a door over here and then the family quarters up top. Uh, there are two doors you can zone into up top. I don't know if they're both family quarters or not. The first one was. I don't know the what the second one The way forward is blocked by giant <laughs> twisting roots. <laughs> the the ones who invaded the winery. Well... Delphi was just eliminating this one as a possibility by okay. triggering the thing that says we can't go that way. Yeah, the chat. All right, so look, we're going to end up in the basement first as it is. That's hilarious. There's a door over here. Did we miss a door? Oh, we did. This one's kind of enshrouded in darkness. Oh, a lever back there. Sorry, I might have called the boss. Or whoever was hiding over there. It's a lever. Switch. 
Mm-hmm. Switch it real good. And the door. Switch, and switch. Gem over the door. So. There's a seam in this floor. Is there no traps here? Because there's a very, very suspicious seam. Don't sense any traps. Go for it. it I'll be over it'll here. It'll be fine. Okay, it's just the open seam. This the door. Yep, it opens Enemies the door. Shipping manifest. I'm guessing that's going to be one of our notes. All right. List of every shipment out for several years. Four customers, the Blood of the Vine Tavern, Blue Water Inn, Bastani, and the Abbot of the Abbey. Abbot! And the Abbot's the only one pitching a fit about not getting his wine. Yep. And we got a secret door over here. All right. You ready? Ready. The Abbot is an interesting character. Ooh, nothing to fight. This one just opened. Summoning goggles of open lock 10. Ooh. Is that something you might be interested in? Who uses bolts? Lurkin. Here, I'm gonna send that your way, Lurkin. Bolts for Lurkin? You can sell it if you don't need it, but... I mean, I suppose Man, if those... I were solo, I could open locks, but... These boots are a nice upgrade, but I'd lose my feather fall. These boots were made for walking! Wand of pure serious wounds would be really cool if we didn't have a whole bunch of heal. Yeah. Yeah, stealthy gear tonight. What was that? Who it was me changing gear? Oh, uh, <laughs> what did you change into to have a little bull appear? Must be something that has a strength buff on Yeah, it. It the new boots I just got have an upgraded dex and they have plus five to strength. But now I lost my feather fall. Well, you can always keep a feather fall item. I actually and still have the original. Those, put those other boots on your bar and remember to swap over to them if you jump off any cliffs. Yes. Yeah, I probably won't remember to do that. Now, is there a way to pull the feather fall off and put it on like we did the ring? Remember we put something we can always water, just... breathing, water breathing or something on a ring way back when. Sophie says we can just res you at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> as long as the healer makes it down alive, then we're good, right? Oh. So in here we have stairs up. <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm I sorry. I just thought that it's extra. That'll give you a ring of feather fall. So do we want to do stairs up? Yeah, let's try stairs up. See what happens. Okay, going in. The Martikoff family makes its home in this oh. part of the winery. Oh, so family quarters again? We haven't even gotten the mold from the basement yet. 
Because there's that. Yeah, we gotta go down, down. That's seriously ham sitting on the shelf? Ham, cheese, and watermelon, okay. So this is wine blight. Like, how appropriate. Oh, wow. They hurt. I just got blown back. Oh, pumpkins. Nothing to smash. And I can't Gallagher this watermelon either. All the fun out of this. Something to read here that seems to have no floating name on it for me. Called Ewan's Markov's Journal. Er, 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 Erwin. I believe oh, one of the long history of our winery may have come to a, its end. The magic gems that give our wine special properties are gone. One vanished years ago, the witch Baba Lasagna stole another three weeks ago, and the druid just took the last one. Now their vile blight are massing to attack the winery. I can hear their chanting in the forest. Stop them, stop them. I will leave these final words. Remember the Martikovs and our winery, for we tried to bring hope to Barovia. Oh, hello, Wishrand. So now we know where the shrines are, and we're here to check your hair. Yes, yes. So with one more floor, the basement floor, I wonder if we'll find the third note in that third level. This just goes back to the vat room. Okay, but the vat room, isn't that where we want to go? Isn't that where the poisoner is? We haven't found the charm. The charm is supposed to be up here somewhere, isn't it? Oh, yeah. But there's a whole nother... There's the ramp that goes down in the vat room, behind the vat room. I know, but in the vat room, there is a second door to go into. Oh, wait. New doors we haven't seen? Yeah, there's plenty to still look at up here. Hug the bard. Hug the bard sounds like a new TV series. Okay, one of those buffs he just did sounded like whispering, I'll burn ya, I'll burn ya, I'll burn ya. Okay. Hey, opening door. A little bit of fire, a little bit of lightning. Sure, leave a mess on the floor when they expire. Oh, fun bedroom. Hello, glowy orb skull holders. Actually, I want a couple bookends that look just like that. I'm getting a screenshot. I, I want that. Those would be cool. Okay, what we want does not seem to be in here. That's 
really strange. What? Go back to the shelf for a second. Yeah? Look at your skulls again. Look at my spells? Skulls? Your skulls. The ones you took a picture of? Yeah? They are different on my screen. Yeah, they're not. It's a different bookcase on my screen. <laughs> Wait, yeah. what? That's strange. The all the all the things inside the shelves are different. Yeah, I've got two skulls on the bottom, and they're not as glowy as yours. For the book. Yeah, I've got a glowy skull up top and a not glowy skull up top, and no skulls anywhere else. That's the first time I've noticed anything <laughs> like that. Two skulls on the second shelf, one on the bottom, <laughs> none are glowy. So wait, we all see something different. But there's a glowy gem next to the skull on the bottom in a yep. book. What? A glowy gem? Sophie, okay, Sophie, what do you see? Sophie says three skulls on the bottom shelf, one's on the end glowy, and the one middle one normal. I've got an egg on the top shelf. Oh, I do have an egg on the top, plus a book and another glowy skull. Just bottles and stuff for me on the top two shelves. Yeah, I got like <laughs> vials and honey jars and... Okay, this shouldn't be as fascinating as it is, but I really always thought we all saw the same thing in game. I... I did too. I mean... Randomly generate shelf contents client side? Mate, that is so weird. I, I mean, it's nothing that matters to gameplay, but I just, I have no idea. I know, it's just... Maybe yeah. that's like how the various NPCs will look different or be wearing different clothing at different times. Really? But usually in a, in a question of, like, shelves and stuff, it's, okay, use shelf number 538. I know, it's that's how we decorated this, and it stays... Door just opened. There's a boss. Or two. Remnants. Oh, behind me. Kids' bedroom, I guess. Hey, bunk beds. I know. Hey, they get pretty covers. Yeah, those are. Those are Not just nice. the boring green or red ones that everyone else has. This is the kids' poker table. And this. Of course. Uh, Y'all don't have the, like, chimera on yours either. That's weird. what. It's what? like a lion, monster chimera thing on my thing over here. I was gonna ask if it was different. I, I just have I two just wine glasses a, and a pitcher. I have three glasses and a bottle. Mine is much cooler than yours. That's two glasses, the yes. and pitcher, three plates. and two plates. Just say we just have you know tableware. Oh, this one's like a spiky lion dragon chimera thing. Oh, I'll take a picture. I want Sophia's Sophia four, four goblets, goblets in the box. Okay, <laughs> I. This is tripping me out. I've never known a game to, like, randomize stuff. I, maybe lots of games do this. We just. I haven't looked over on the screen and went, wait a minute, why do you have two glowy skulls on that shelf that you're taking a picture of? <laughs> and how many years is DDO? Oh, Are hey. we just learning this? I have the, looks like a cross between a lion and a displacer beast. Uh, two statues. Nope, three plates, three goblets, and a jug. Well, two statuettes for me. We spend the entire stream and the tables and bookshelves. <laughs> yeah, the rest of the stream, we're, we're forgetting about the dungeon. We're all checking out the... Well, I want to yeah. find the cool 
Chimera and like, this so is how Ravenloft the wine yet? Gets you. Oh yeah, the wine. Yeah, this is how Ravenloft gets you to replay, come back again and again. What's gonna be on the table? Yeah, that wine was standing right there. There's the charm of purification. I did have one table in the back where it was a uh, stretched out cat looking thing. All right, these just all have books on them for me. Same. Yeah, but now I wonder if the books look the same. Nope, they're all different. No, I mean, for each of us, like, I know that's what I'm saying. Yeah, books like, are different. The little shelf for me has two books lying down, like, um, back down on the right hand side all the way down and yours only has it on the second shelf down oh so there is God. differences even to that jeez wow okay over here books papers candles jug two mugs no, all different oh my gosh oh uh, where it it no it's pretty much the same yeah, I'm looking at your screen. That looks the same for me. So bookshelves are randomized. As are things on the tops of little cabinets. Oh my gosh, this is so trippy. All right, here's the other door that that'll be out into the brewery ring, I'm pretty sure. Vase with flowers. Bottle with four goblets. Mm. Two vases. <laughs> we need to start holding ooh, a betting ooh. competition. I hope you saw the same as Cat. They're in the same universe. Oh. Except they have seen different things from me in other oh, places. You're, you're, just, you're briefly visiting each other's universe right That's here. just it. We're, we're running. This is, this is, this is the... DDO bought into the multiverse. <laughs> compilation of the metaverse, right? Right, multiverse and we're and we're just slowly phasing in and out every single time all right now we know where both doors go so this was the second one the other one's over there so now we're doing the ramp down yep back down to the well i didn't ramp i just jumped oh cat may want to ramp yeah. <laughs> I just, but doesn't it like use extra stuff to make things different and not have just a static? I just, it blows me well, away. If, if this is a really old game, here, and service. that, if it's all rendered client side, then it's less that they have to worry about streaming to you data wise. It just says there's a bookshelf there, put something in it. So exactly. I can see how that makes sense from an old school coding perspective. Today, that would make zero sense at all. It just doesn't tell it which bookshelf to use. It says bookshelf and it picks from the library of bookshelves. Wow. Yeah. It's still fascinating though. Start taking bets on who gets, you know, how many people get the same item. We can do that in future streams. Got mobs in the fifth distance. In the fifth distance? Directly ahead. Right hand in it. Didn't. 
Oh, and there's the oh, other no, lever. Which will probably take the uh, take the shield off of the poison druid poisoner. Oh, we still haven't found the mold. Well, maybe this will open a door. Yeah, or open the gate where we came in. I want to clicky first. Clicky. <laughs> Yeah, open the big gate. Oof. Puppies! Dead puppies aren't much fun. Uh, these weren't much fun when they were alive. My puppy died late last fall. He's still rotting in the hall. Dead puppies aren't much fun. Hopefully your your viewers aren't too young to know Dr. Demento. Otherwise, you're very disturbing right now. <laughs> <laughs> More clickies. I'm randomly singing about dead puppies. Dr. Demento is the best. Enemies here. Many vibes. And a note. A note. Brown mold so notes. Have, so we're gonna have mold wine with notes of notes. Mm, yes, the subtle note of a. Uh... Don't store any more wine down in the caves if any of it is exposed to the brown mold. It gets the most horrid flavor. There's a sheet switch. Boo the switch. Boo the switch. There was another gate back this way. Yep, enemies. And enemies just came through it. Burn the trees down! Ooh. The, the webs are not any indication of anything that might be ahead of us. Good to know. A cave leads down into the dark and the damp. Yes, and it said not to store anything down here. So wait, why are we getting the brown mold then? To neutralize the toxins and then we'll purify the nasty taste with the... Oh, we have multiple directions to go. Slimes. Mobs that way. Slimes. Uh, can you burn a slime? Can you electrocute a slime? Yeah, the only thing you don't want to do is cut it in half. Okay, rats incoming. Oh wait, do only certain ones get cut in half or are you talking about the electrocution? I think that's a pile of mold or a glowy. Well, we got some mold to the right. I see brown mold in both directions. There's a hole. Yeah, that's a hole in the bottom of the sea. I'm to go down the hole. Some more slimes down there. Oh, let him get grab the mold. Yes. Okay, so we need the other molds. We need all the molds. 
There's a mold up ahead. We should get the one that's ahead first, maybe? Possibly? We can. That's probably circling down to where this hull drops, too. Well, that one goes down, too, so... Well, that's what I was thinking, but that one goes the down. The one to the left goes, yeah, this. back around. There we go. Okay, so they all go together. All right. So that's down to the slimies. I just brown mold this direction. Mold. And shrines. Very itty bitty shrines. Bitty baby shrine. Hello, little shrine. Where did you say? Oh, there it is. You found all the ingredients needed to purify the wine. Now to add the antidote to the large wine vats on the main floor of the winery. Yeah, we keep poking in little cave tunnels here. Looks sure. Like there are... And this one. Oh, just goes back up around. Wait, where does that one down there connect to? Oh. Oh, the, the slimes? Did you find the one that goes to the slimes down there? Well, do we want to bother about the slimes? Do you think anything's down there? Why not? We'll go the walkie way to... They, know, might, they might go hurt to... people. Fetid arcane oozes. Oh. What? I just more ways to go down. It just a dead end, but nope, it was a bat cave. We found the bat cave. Cool. No extra loots. No Alfred either. running ahead like we've never seen traps appear after we've gone through somewhere. Wait. Sorry, I was reloading arrows. Way we have not gone. Oh, that was just a dead end. Oh, was it? Yeah, that's where my dead end song came from. songs again? Or is it just the haste? Well, there's only a minute left. Should we just do... No, wait. The druid prepares to attack. Why do you insist on dying? She asks. Without their little magic gems, this winery is doomed anyway. Very well. 
I'll slit your throat, then add your blood to my poison. Plant-like forms run forward to protect the druid. More she already died. To the defense of the poison. Too big. Whoa! With the druid poisoner taken care of. You rush to add the antidote to the wine vats. More and more. stench of the poison clears, and is replaced no! with a sweet smell of fermenting grapes. Thanks to you, the Wizard of Wines will produce one more vintage. Well, we managed to do all that while killing all the bad guys. Yeah, you noticed that too, huh? I'm, I, we're talented. Now the box. Oh, Scarlet Scale Cloak. Two-handed ball. The breath weapon focus. A cob dagger. That. Yeah, do you do? But it is unholy weapons. It is part of the adherent of the mist set. So anybody who is collecting that. Well, I think I have. I have a cloak from the mist set somebody gave me. Something called Knife Palm quips the hands, part of the adherent of the mist set. Uh -huh. Oh, no breath weapon. Ooh. Assassinate plus six, bluff plus 12, deadly plus five, insightful diversion plus four percent, mythic can boost plus three. I mean, I like the plus three mythic bonus to ranged. You want it? You want the, the mall? Nah. So does anybody oh. want this cloak? Like I said, a spell site 12 on it. Some thieves tools for you too, Lurkin. Or the other one had wizardry. Who has breath weapons? I don't know how many talismans you have at this point. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how many do I need. I think it was like 30 or 40 that you needed. 40, I believe. Anyone want my cob dagger? Yep. Breath weapon spells, but what... What's a breath weapon spell? I don't know. Sure, Sophie knows. Can sorcerers breathe fire? <laughs> okay, shall we Google? <laughs> Oh, no takers on the dagger. Tim Door says they're alchemist spells. Oh, I don't. I, I don't do have not. alchemist unlocked. Nope on the dagger for me. Does anybody do alchemist alchemy? Nope. I mean the spell site twelve maybe no, but I have spell site on my weapon. So I don't know. Yeah, probably not useful except in a set. Yeah, I think Dragonborn can have breath weapons too. So if you said they don't have one. So. Are we finished out? Uh, I think we are done. Does anybody want the cloak just for set or? Nope. Okay. Are you just not going to take it at all? No, it had a, a another agree window to it. Okay. Right. Yep. Finishing. 
And the top of that vat still looks sketchy. Yeah, was that whatever goop splashed on it? Yeah. But our brown mold fixed that all up. Oh, yeah. Moldy wine. Mold wine. I see you tasting funky. Uh oh. I just missed. Sophie was typing something. I don't know if those would count as spells, but it's not something I ever plan to take. Okay. Sophie's a sophisticated dragonborn. Not going around barfing on enemies. <laughs> Crossbow, quarter stab, oh, 15, reconstruction, no. Repair, no. Good point, yeah. Breathing acid might not be great for a bard. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> Heroic deeds it is. But if you don't give me wine, then... Maybe breath weapons should reduce social skills. <laughs> hey, I know some people who have some natural breath weapons. And in fact, my little guy who did brush his teeth in the morning the other day... I mean, that's my fault. We didn't have time, and I'm the one who helps brush his teeth, but holy breath weapon that kid had. What the heck? Oh, more adventures. All right. So do we go back to the main building? Or... If you, uh... Recall from here, you should go back in there. Okay. So we didn't actually do the whole get there, get to the abbey. the Abbey is the next step? No. Wrath of the Earth to go after the Druids at their home base. We're probably going we need to recover at least one of the gems, but I'm gonna bet we have to get two or maybe all three of them. So they can replant them so they can have their special wines and then they'll give us some wines. Yep. Yep, so I'm not gonna... This is the meat Grishla. And I'll end on not talking to this one. Wait, why does this one have a different bag of coins over their head? What makes that different from the stack of coins? Well, let's open them up. One's a merchant, one's a... Oh! Oh, this is the banker then. <coughs> Heck yeah! That's a way to help me out. Sweet. Well, that... Um, okay, so these little muddy golems look really kind of freaky. 
Why why are we surrounding I'm just curious. Sophie's sitting. It's very shiny up there. <laughs> it is. It's waiting to see if something would come down and smack me. Now, what does this tower look like from the outside? Yes! There doesn't seem to be an outside, though, that we can... There's, can't you get to it from here, this door, land of Barovia? Oh! An exit on this table, too. No, the exit on the table is a different kind of exit, I think. That's like going back to the airship and stuff. Oh, look at that! That'll be my next screenshot. With its little purple... Yeah, that's not gonna to uh yeah, not that we've been collecting them, but there's a journal entry back here. Oh. Oh. Hey, we got a couple of them when we were first in I had a dream once when I was a girl. In it, I prayed to the oh, morning the lord to one. show me my love. Then from the east came a great bird, an eagle flying on wings of blinding light, soaring high above the mountains. Just as this beautiful creature was about to land at my feet, I woke up. And when I woke, I wept. Oh, look at that. That's a kind of cool view, too. Uh, I'm completely lost. Where are you? We went out the door. That's by the tower. Oh. Uh, I mean, I'm there's a not a whole lot of lost inside. I'm apparently ready to level. Since I'm usually the last one ready, up. Uh, Know. Yeah, I've been ready to level. Dar, step back a little. Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way! Well, you said step back! To be fair, I did. Um... I... Oh, I am ready to level. Hmm. Are we all that was ready a lot to of level? XP. This really makes me feel like this cart came out of Secret World. Although it's kind of the wrong color, it's still very much. Look at that. One million, one and a half million XP for the level. I mean, all of this is level 15 anyway, right? So probably want to just make sure that nobody gets to the point where they're no longer earning XP. Yeah. Like Darth. <laughs> well, I mean, you don't... The game doesn't level you automatically. You choose when to level, so... Yeah, but you can only store up, like, two levels, right? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. We need to let we can stay at 16 since everything the content we're doing is 15. 
but we want to make sure if somebody gets to the point where they're no longer earning XP, we should probably level them. Well, well I'm, I'm still earning XP. Uh, beyond being ready to level. Like Tim Doors says, this pack is the best graphics in the game. I think so. I think this place has been awesome. Yeah, it has some of the best like stories and optionals too. I think. Yeah, I've really been enjoying this one. Which is why we're all still here, doing all this. The first part of the saga was level 12, middle was 13, last adventures are 14. Okay. So yeah, so if we level up, we're gonna be... Just over, over. Uh, but I'm just barely in the beginning, so... Which is why we're getting heroic dudes. D dudes. We're getting heroic dudes in the reward options. Woohoo! Oh my goodness. Ah. Okay then. <laughs> Sophie, if only. <laughs> well, that is it for tonight. We are done with the first step. So basically, this is telling me that next week I have to revisit the song I wrote. After the druids and the farm, I'm gonna have to add lines about going to get the missing gems. Um, you know, it's coffee fit number three or four. I just. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. So, yeah, next time we're gem hunting from the druids, not Baba Lasagna yet. Ba 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 lasagna. Ba 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 lasagna. We get the gem. <clears throat> Today's songs have been brought to you by Insanity. That's the place where MJ dwells. Ah, <laughs> <coughs> oh, so much fun. Yeah, I really love that we've been doing this. Now, we do have only one more week before we have to take a break or change times or something of some sort. Um, yeah, the next week I'm open, but the following week is when my 9 o'clock start class starts for four weeks. So Ravenloft... And it's end of February already? <laughs> yeah, the March class starts on February 29th. Yeah, it doesn't start in March. It actually starts on that little leap day sneaker... sneaker inner... Um, so we will get through another adventure next week, and then we'll have to let you all know what will be happening to finish the Ravenloft adventure. Maybe we can sneak it early, maybe we can sneak it, we'll, we'll just have to see how that works out. Uh, the best way to know is to be sure you're following the stream team calendar. Now you can do that by either checking the stream post, which I'm going to link right into chat right now. So anyone here live will be able to just click on it, go right to the post. Let me know your favorite things about Ravenloft in the stream post. I would love to hear them. Whether it is the game module or DDO, let's talk Ravenloft. And of course, you can see the stream team calendar. You can go read other D&D things. Well, DDO things. Uh, you can even link to, we did do some Dungeons & Dragons one-shots right here on stream. You can find that in our past streams. And you can read tons of things that we've been writing for the last nine years. Nine years. Oh my goodness. I'm getting excited for next year. All the games that, like, disappointed me by not having anything special for, like, uh, a decade anniversary... I'm going to try to make up for it with Mop. <laughs> so tune in next year, this time. But until then... <coughs> let's see if I can get through this. I hope you all have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for your support, everybody. Both on the site and on OPTV. 
all your subs, your Patreon donations. Um, try not to cough. <coughs> Whitelisting ads, and of course, huge, huge extra shout out thank you to my amazing group who plays D&D here with me on OPTV. You guys are all amazing. Please have a fantastic night. Stay well and uh, prepare for a wonderful weekend. I'll see you next time.